Well, you're here to join us for the with the sport as well as the showbiz. I, I, absolutely. Yeah, it was all about stimulation. It was all about stimulation is what she was talking about. Thank you much for that from Aiden. You, you were taking too much interest <laughs> in that. Aiden, have you ever feared being dumped because the ladies you were going out with were earning more, more stimulating conversation? Possible no. with you, really? No, not really. I did cheat on someone about 20 years ago. I really regret it. Horrible business. Um, back in 2003, still in touch with, uh, with with the lady. She did manage to move on, thankfully. Anyway, what's happening uh, in the ashes? More, <laughs> more, more to the point. What's happening in the ashes? <laughs> ashes. I'll tell you what, England are doing fantastic. <laughs> well. They've come out of the blocks at breakneck speed. I think 52 not out. The partnership of Zach Crawley and uh, Ben Duckett has been uh, real, we, we, reaping viv dividends for uh, for England. They had a difficult day yesterday. It was in the balance as we went into it this morning. But I'll tell you what, it's not really an expansive basball performance this morning from England. They tend to be con tend to be Taking advantage of the of some profligate uh, bowling by um, by Australia, but brilliant start for England. England and I expect win, them. They? Well, look, if they if they win, win if they win this test, they've effectively overturned a two nil defeat, yeah. a two nil deficit, and a one three two because they were going to win on, on uh, Thursday. Uh, they were going to win. They 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 racked well, up five five, five nine or five eight five or five nine two or whatever it was. I mean that's fantastic, and you have to hand it to England because they've got a lot of criticism in those first two tests. Now, Haley, quickly, I wanted to ask you about James Bond because uh, Star Sport bookmakers, mm -hmm. all the bookmakers are available. Sent me the odds of the next James Bond. <laughs> me too. And I hadn't heard of any of these people. So, uh, <laughs> who have you got on your think, list then? James, oh, not James, well, let, let, James let. Norton's five to two favourites. Yeah. And then Aaron Taylor Johnson eleven to four. Damson Idris eleven to four. Who should we put Reed, our money on? Jean Page four to one. Um, Henry. I Campbell, know who it's going to be. Go you know, like I've always got like great showbiz predictions. Yeah, it's going to be Damon Idris. Four, that, Eleven to four. No, they, it said in the papers. This is like the one. It's like the dark horse. This is the one that's going to do it. Aidan McGee was fifty first. to one. Apparently. What? Yeah, oh. but you were still on the list. <laughs> and Philip, were you on there? Philip, how would you have got to be? Hmm? Well, you definitely not was, fifty, 50 <laughs> like you. I was, I, I was a six to four favourite, but I've dis I've ruled myself out. Uh, 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 oh yes. Yeah, and what about Mark Lebet? What was he? Yeah. He, yeah. I think he was he was shorter priced than Aiden, <laughs> <laughs> which won't come as a great surprise. No, to no. What about Bond girls? You you still have to hold, no, I'm, I'm, on that. I'm, I'm bon, we'll do either. Bond girls betting next week if okay, that's yeah. if you want yeah. quality, yeah, you're want, wanting yeah. fairness. You heard it here first. Dams and Idris is going to be the next James Bond. You heard it from Hayley Palmer. Well, look, I can't believe it, but that's all we've got. Time oh, today. Yeah. Thank you. We've, we've got to go. We've run out of time, but we've had a really fun show and also a bit of a feisty show, wasn't it yeah, today? It has lots of fun debates. and feisty show. So we are back next Saturday at 10 a.m. But coming up next, it's GB News Saturday with the very wonderful <laughs> Emily Carver. See you next week.